In this video, I want to feature how to insert an external hyperlink on a PowerPoint slide and also how to insert an internal hyperlink for on a PowerPoint slide. And it works pretty much on all Microsoft documents like this. So I'm going to show you the completed task to show you what we're aiming for here. So I'm going to launch this closing slide of this PowerPoint. And when I do that, let that slide develop on here. And I've got two different kinds of hyperlinks in. Um, the Elliptico is a graphic up here. And that links to the Elliptico.com external website, as you can see. And um, I'll exit out of... Uh, that and um, go back to the PowerPoint. Also, I have an internal hyperlink on, on this piece of text that says a ride for fun and fitness. And when I activate that link, that goes within my web, within my network folder or within my hard drive, and it looks for the internal link I've got here. So I just made up a little a uh, fake web page bas basically that says elliptico versus trike which burns more calories and this is just a little web page I created. Now for my students um, I expect to see interactive buttons either on the side or going across the top that are links to your other pages that you will create for your CIS 240 web page project. Um, so let's talk about how to set an internal link and an external link. So let me go back and remove these links just escape out of that and so we'll start from the same spot you'll start from I'm gonna say remove hyperlink from there to make it back to normal there before we start so we'll move but I will remove both hyperlinks and then add them again all right so let's do the external first they're a little bit easier so you click activate the graphic or text that you want to set an, an external hyperlink for which means it's gonna jump out to the internet and go find your site so we're gonna right click on that line that goes around your graphic or text. Make sure it's a solid line. And select hyperlink when you right click. So select hyperlink. Left click on that. And then you have two areas here. This is all about setting an in internal hyperlink which would you would browse back to whatever file you want it to link to. For external hyperlinks you're going to jump down here where it says address and type in the actual web address of where you want it to go. Now I've already done this one so it remembers it but it's uh, liftago.com and once I get that in there I'll just say OK and that'll take care of that external hyperlink. Now for the internal hyperlink I'm going to click here now this is a dotted going all the way around. That won't work. That's the edit mode for changing the text. I want to add a hyperlink, so I'm going to click on that border one more time and make it a solid border there. Then I'm going to right click and select hyperlink. And this time I'm going to go find an internal hyperlink that's somewhere on my network or either somewhere on my hard drive. So this is where I'm going to go and, and it's not in this folder, so I've really got to go up a folder. I know it's in this CIS 340 folder, a little bit different folder. And I'm going to browse down, and then it was called JavaScript button color change. And, um, or whatever the first web page is for my CIS 240 students doing this CIS 240 project, uh, you, this, um, you should select your first web page, your home page that you have created for your project. That's just what you should be selecting at this point so that it bridges the gap between the PowerPoint and the web page and joins them. So once you get to the first web page, obviously then you're going to have hyperlinks that lead to your other web pages that you have created. But this will at least get you there. So we'll say OK. Now we can save here or we can just launch and check it out. Like I showed you before, Elliptigo takes you to the external website for that company. If I go back to the PowerPoint, the internal Hyperlink is here, and I'll click anywhere on that, and it takes you to my internal document, which is my first web page. And of course, for my students, this is the page, you know, this would be like your home page, even though this is not designed like a home page, it was just a quick example piece to show you. So, but you would have your interactive buttons that you click on to link to your other web pages. You should have at least four web pages 
for your CIS 240 web project. And let me go back here. And thank you for your time.